It seems like we're back. Okay. So, minutes ago, I was um, going through some end games, and I'm going to try that again. So, let's win the game. Huzzah! Let's win the game again. Ooh, this is a real puzzle here. Wow, I'm surprised this works so well. I am surprised. Um, okay. Okay, maybe it's not playing objectively the strongest move every move, like I expected. Um... Okay, so that's that's more like what I would have expected. I'm not sure how it figures out what moves to select in the endgame trainer, but because it's open source, I can contribute to it if I so choose. Um, Alright, let's win the game. Queen versus king. So we first trap the king on the edge, and then I'm gonna do click-click move because... oh. Oops. Let's try that again. I uh, got so caught up in talking about how I was going to perform the moves because my mouse is misbehaving. Um, this is actually trickier than it looks. I mean, some of these cases are pretty simple. I don't like how the train again button keeps moving the board down, but... Um, okay, I think I got the hang of this. key is to not approach too closely. Um, let's see. But yeah, because this is open so... Oh. Well, okay, you just totally... I need to replace this battery. We're going to try a different battery and see if the mouse behaves any better. Because two endgame blunders in a row is just kind of sad. Pop this out, pop in a different one, and hopefully this works. Hopefully this is the cause of the problem and not the hardware itself. Okay. Rook versus knight. Here we go. Oh, the, okay. I mean, again, here, rook versus knight's pretty easy. Um, so. Uh, let's go on and try some other endgames. Uh, there's bishop versus knight. No, this one's pretty easy, too. Even when they don't give you a simple, straight-up win. Um... Oh, you just have to attack the knight, and then when it moves, go to the square it used to be on. Okay, bishop versus knight's actually trivial. Never mind. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see this using table bases of some sort. Um, that'd be pretty impressive. Okay, I want to know, though, like, in these positions where the queen's not immediately sacking itself to the knight, what do you do? So if we can get a position that's not an instantaneous win, that would be great. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get one. I think... Most of these positions are instant winners, and just don't require much thought. Um, oh. Okay, here we have one that's not an immediate winner. Oh, but now I can just apply the concept that I applied on the other bishop versus knight things. Just attack the knight, the knight moves away. Okay, that's pretty easy. Uh, king versus knight. Oh. This is a win? How? 
How is this a win? Okay, never mind, I get it. Alright, so that's endgames. At least that's anti-chess endgames. Uh, then we got Atomic. So the key is to put your king in the corner. Oops. And then once you force the king away, checkmate is trivial. So that's king, queen, queen. Um, there's king, rook, rook. Follow the same concept. Um, yeah, with adjacent kings makes it a little bit trickier uh, than the alternative, but it's nothing too bad. Note that the king can never capture the rooks. And then from here out it's pretty trivial. Oh, hang on. I can actually do a stair step mate this way. Okay, cool. Um, and then we got, what's this, king, queen. Oh, and you have a blocked pawn. You just walk right past it. That's the key idea here. Is that this king does not want to be anywhere near that pawn uh, because it gets blown up. Now, the king should have given chase the other way here, king g4. I'm not sure what the right approach is for white there. But I know you have to walk past the pawn in order to win this. Um, right, and because the kings are adjacent, it's it's really that simple most of the time. Um, king, rook, knight versus king, with kings separated. Well, I mean, this is pretty easy. You just box the king off, keep boxing it. And then when you're done boxing, assuming your mouse works. Um, okay, we're going to put the king over there. And knight b3 if I can get the knight there. And then rook b2. So that's pretty straightforward as well. Uh, if the kings are together, I don't know if that's a win. But um, let's go through the remaining endgame. King, rook, knight with... Oh, with a adjacent kings this is apparently a win um this one could take some work I'm not gonna lie this could be some serious workout um, so let's put the rook and the knight in the corner and walk our king over there And then box the king out, and continue boxing. And then don't stalemate, but instead give the checkmate. Okay, so that's not so hard. Uh, those are end games. Um, all right, we could try timed training and see just what the penalty is of using this uh, spectacular mouse I'm using. Let's try it. Time training. Uh, Anti-chess forced capture. Let's go. All right. Forced capture, forced capture, forced. Capture, forced capture. Uh, come on, let's take it. Wait, oh, I see it. That one's less obvious. Uh, forced captures are forced. How great would it be to write a script that could... Oh, actually, I have an idea. Um, yeah. 
So earlier today, there was somebody advertising a bot that could play chess online. Um, oh, but that's probably a binary. It's probably something I'm not able to run or not able to adapt the source code for. Wait, is this not the forced capture? Oh, I must be out of time. Yeah, because knight takes f2 is forced. Alright, so my score is 27. Um, Alright, let's take a look for atomic moves. Win the game. Win the game. Basically capture something, or checkmate, uh, the opponent's king. Um... Ooh. <laughs> That's cool how you have to select the correct promotion. Oh, what's going on here? Checkmate or explode the opponent's king. Oh, I'm playing white. Okay. That wasn't so clear. Um... Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. And time's up. 17. Probably would have scored better than 17 if I didn't freeze on that one position. Um, it took me a while to appreciate the player on move. Like some sort of indicator to the right or the left of the board saying the player on move would be actually pretty cool. Um, all right. <laughs> Checkmate in one, eh? Okay. I'm thinking most of these checkmate in one horde puzzles are going to be pretty straightforward. Also, the destroy the horde in one move is also going to be, like, ridiculously straightforward. Oh, are there only six puzzles? No, that looks like more than six puzzles. Ever so slightly more than six. Um, also, having an auto queen um, promotion for that would be pretty cool. Um, this is mate. This is mate. This is mate. Oh, hey, look, there's like more than six puzzles. I'm getting stuck on this one. Uh, queen d4 is what I'm trying to play. Is queen d4 not mate? Yeah, no, I just misclicked. So we'll, we'll count that as 21 puzzles. Um, let's go through King of the Hill. 60 seconds for King of the Hill puzzles. Either win by getting your king to the center, or by checkmating the opposing king. I have to keep reminding myself that king to the center is a winning move. Uh, Usually it's not. Usually getting your king to the center is not sufficient to win the game outright. That one was tricky. That one took a second glance to figure out. Um, hey! Hey, wait a second. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's great. That's excellent. See, the thing is, this variant's called King of the Hill, and, um, yeah, if you get your king to one of the four center squares, that wins the game on the spot. That takes precedent over checkmate, or precedence over checkmate. Um, so, yeah, just on principle alone, I'm gonna refuse to play Queen G6 checkmate, because White's already won the game. Shame that. Okay. Three check. Apply the third check to win the game. Check. Check. Potser sees a check. Potser gives a check. 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 Uh, check. 
This actually reminds me of some software I once saw. Um, I think it was Maurice Ashley, Grandmaster Maurice Ashley teaches chess. He released this for like Windows 98 or something. I forget exactly what version of Windows, but he's been um, doing something of a series, I believe, uh, after that game. But he, it's largely had these little mini games that help players better understand smaller pieces of the game. Um, and I think one of them had something similar uh, to this. Um, obviously not exactly this, because producing an exact replica would be just too coincidental. Alright, 25. That's not bad. Alright, but yeah, I think the key point of chess variance training is that People are going to expect this is very puzzle-centric. Um, so... Should we do mixed? Let's do mixed. Just go completely all out. Um, okay. Wow. For a first puzzle, this is more than I was expecting. Um, black to play. Okay, so the horde is threatening to promote either of these two pawns and win on the spot. It's gotta be queen takes pawn, defending the rook indirectly. Still, I don't like giving up a rook. Is there any other way I could do this? Is it king e7 or is it queen takes a5? Queen takes a5 seems so backward. I want to play... Oh, I failed it. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Black has only one way to stop white from queening the c-pawn and winning. d8 as well as c8 needs to be covered. Even if it costs a rook, therefore queen h8. Uh... What about king e7? Or queen takes a5? Submit. Alright. Next puzzle. Hopefully this will go better than the last one. Okay, racing kings, black to play, find the best move. Well, see, white's threatening to move his king to the other end of the board on this move. Uh, and there's nothing black can do to stop it, so black just needs to agree to the draw. Yeah. Um, and get both kings to the top of the board. Okay, this is king of the hill, so you just need to deflect the king. Um, both g4 and knight h4 seem to win on the spot. Okay. Uh, black to play. This one seems difficult, I've got to say. Find the best move. Oh, take the pawn. Take the pawn. And just win. Um, I did not make this website. Um, this, I believe, was the work of Program Fox, I think. I think he's the person who, by himself, put together this site using .NET and c -sharp. Uh Looks pretty cool so far. Even if we did fail the first puzzle we attempted, and even if my mouse isn't working well for the faster things, and even if we did spot one flawed puzzle already, um, oh, there are no more puzzles for mixed. Okay, well, let's try just not mixed. Let's pick something else. Uh, let's pick King of the Hill chess. Okay, so the objective is to land the king on a center square. This suffices in getting the king to the center of the board. Oh. I'll check that out sometime. 
Uh, today we're checking out this site. So let's see, what do we, oh, okay. So that's one puzzle. Let's check out anti-chess. Uh, huh. Oh, how does white win this? Is this winnable? Holy moly. I don't know if this is winnable. Oh wait, no, you promote, no, you can't take a rook. Jeez, what's going on here? So if you take a rook or a queen, that loses instantly. If you take a knight, you have to fight knight versus king, which I think is a loss. If you take a bishop, uh, actually bishop's a win. Bishop is a winner. Um, okay. Um, so I do not understand. Bishop seems to be a wait. No, bishop draws. King draws. Bishop draws. Um, yeah, I don't think that a king can corner. No, king cannot corner a bishop. Only the opposite can occur. Um, Report puzzle. A equals bishop also draws. Yeah. Now we get to retry it. It wants us to take a. No, it doesn't want us to take a king. Okay. Uh, knight. Okay, well, that, that's fantastic. Um, I'll have to see what I can do about validating solutions on puzzles. Um, next puzzle. Anti-chess. Black to play. Play the best move. I want to say pawn b5. And then I want to say... I don't know. Black D does something clever here. If he could force white to take D7, E8, F7, black would be golden. Um, that might be challenging. Bishop H6? No. Wait. Oh. That's pretty cool. So bishop g7, and then bishop takes a1. There's tons of variations. Um, there are multiple variations, rather. Okay, let's check out the next puzzle, if there is one. Oh, there is. Okay, white to play. Um, this is not looking good. Oh, I get it. So rook b2, then rook h8, and then e4. Uh, and then you could sack the pawn. That's all very forcing. Okay. Uh, color to play white. Okie dokie. What piece do we want here? I admit I am confused. Well, if I take a queen, the bishop moves and undefends one of these. Then I can sack the queen. Um. Yes, yeah, so there's your draw. Sometimes forcing a draw is the only best option. That makes sense. You can see all the comments on the puzzle even before you solved it. Alright, what's the answer, guys? Uh, knight d4, knight takes d4, a4. Seems to be a solution. 
All right, and then what, what happens after a4? Knight takes b3, knight e3, knight takes a5. Oh, of course. Yeah, I saw all this, guys. Definitely. All right. All those rating points are mine. White to play. Well, it's not going to be a rook. I'll tell you that. Wait, does bishop actually win here? That's pretty awesome. I had no idea. So I guess there are positions where a bishop can defeat a rook. They're just very few and far between. Um, surely we take a rook here, right? And then we'll just sack the rook. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, darn it. So I think keeping my options open, I should play h5 first. Um, right. Okay, I think 